What's up YouTube? This is Charles and today I'm going to unbox the new Nike Adapt BB basketball shoe. Uh, this is a pretty special shoe because it is auto lacing. Uh, so Nike has done three auto lacing shoes so far. You may be familiar with the famous Nike Air Max from Back to the Future. Uh, Back to the Future 2. And then a couple years ago, Nike made the Nike Hyper Adapt running shoe that uh, feature auto lacing. So I'm gonna unbox this new shoe and uh, just talk about it and see what it looks like. So this is the box. It has a little handle uh, as, so you can hold it as a carrying case. It came in use for me today because uh, I had it delivered to work. So, and then I caught the bus home. So I use that. Uh, then on the top here it says Nike Adapt Earl BB. Uh, on the sides, it's got this little glowing thing that's kind of like on the side of the shoes. That's pretty cool. Let's slide this top up. Kind of the same thing on this part here, same glowing thing. So Earl stands for Electro Adaptive Reactive Lacing. You can see that. Take these tabs off. Oh, so it has a little charging stand here. This is how you charge the shoes. That's pretty cool. Put your left and left and right shoe on there. So that's wireless charging. Uh, also show you the bottom of this box, just shows the retail. It's 350. These are pretty clean, I can't even lie. So the first one that they made besides the Nike Air Mag was the Nike Hyper Adapt running shoe. And a lot of people thought it was ugly, but looking at this one, I think they look pretty good. It kind of reminds me of the Kyrie Urban shoes. Um, a few of the different generations, especially the bottom. Kind of looks like that. The Nike sign, um, this 3M, that's a nice touch. And then like kind of the swoosh kind of goes to the end and it turns into dots, that's cool. Yeah, it really, it really looks like similar to a Kyrie on this side. This is the inside. The colorway is super similar to the Space Jams. Look at that. That's pretty dope. I'm not sure if they did that intentionally, uh, but if they did, nice touch. So again, yeah, the shoe is pretty much made for basketball, but um, they pretty stylish. I could see myself wearing these up with jeans. Um, I do plan on playing basketball in, in them though. I'm not gonna resell them or keep them on ice or anything like that. I'm definitely gonna play basketball in these. So let's take off this for the wireless charger. It feels nice. Pretty big. Kind of reminds me of like a little weight scale or something like that, but it's a nice touch with the Nike sign on there. Just looks like it's the charging base there. Looks like there's a little booklet in here too.
So with this new shoe, Nike made an app to go along with it. You can pretty much do everything on your um, shoe that you can do on the app. I think the only thing you probably can't do on this shoe is change the color of these dots. Um, but if you wanted to tighten or loosen the shoe, you can do that with these dots here. Uh, but you can also do that on the app. So the app's pretty cool. So I'll, uh, I'll show you that on the phone. So this is the app. Uh, this is a Nike Adapt app and you can download it. Uh, if you have Apple, you can download it in the App Store. If you have uh, Android, you can download it in the Google Play Store. Uh, since I already have a Nike account, it already recognized me when I downloaded the app. Um, so you just hit this to start to get ready to set it up. So to connect your left shoe, you want to put your phone looks like right next to the dots here. So once the app connects to your shoe, your phone's going to ask you to Bluetooth pair it. That's pretty crazy. I never thought I would be Bluetooth pairing a pair of shoes. So when I put the shoe on, it went to a default setup and it automatically tightened. So I think I put them on too early, but it doesn't look like it matters. You can skip it if you want. Um, but it says your shoes will begin to adjust automatically. So I already have them on, so now it's just adapting to my feet. You can kind of hear it going to work. Oh, they just got super tight. I don't know if you can see that. And now they're expanding again. I think they're just trying to measure to see how my feet are, I guess. I have pretty narrow feet, so they actually fit really good for me. Uh, and it has arc support too, so that's pretty cool. So now you can fine tune your shoe. So it looks like you slide uh, either the L or the R uh, up or down for it to get tighter or looser. Let's try the right. That's crazy. Yeah, these are super tight now, but it's, it doesn't hurt. Uh, it's pretty snug. So if you took these to the court, you can feel safe. You don't have to be like Kevin Durant with your shoes always falling off your feet because they get untied somehow. These, these are not falling off your feet once you uh, have them tight. On the app, there's a couple more cool things. So you can change the color of the lights on the side of the shoe. So see in the background the light is changing with the color of the app I kind of like this blue color kind of matches the bottom a little bit racer blue so I'm gonna go with that one and then you can see your battery level so if you ever wanted to know uh, how much battery you got in each shoe uh, you can check it in the app or I believe you can check it um, by hitting the buttons too, it indicates the color. So you might be thinking, how do you loosen both of the shoes without hitting both of the buttons if you don't wanna do that? Well, if you have the app, you can hit this little button on the bottom right and it will loosen both of them at the same time if you wanna take them off. And they both loosen at the same time. So that's it. Again, uh, the shoe comes out on Sunday the 17th. I believe it's at 7 a.m. a release on the sneakers app. So if you're interested, definitely try to go ahead and uh, get a pair of those. I know they're going to sell out quick. And it looks like they're already on stock X as well. I believe they're going for like around 470 or close to 500 on stock X. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. This is my first time trying to do an unboxing. And uh, subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos.